Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all the participants around the world. I'm Kensuke Yazu, General Manager of Osaka Exchange, OSE. Welcome to our webinar, and it's such a pleasure to have the opportunity to present today. I bet everyone can't wait for Jim's special session following my presentation, but taking this opportunity, I would like to briefly talk about the current Japanese derivatives market landscape and our new product to be listed on OSE on September 21st. The origin of Japan Exchange Group, JPX, is the Tokyo Stock Exchange, which was established in 1878 by Eiji Shibusawa, and Osaka Stock Exchange, which was founded by Thomas Godai. So JPX has more than 140 years history. This is off topic, but the Ministry of Finance of Japan has decided to adopt Shibusawa, the gentleman on the right-hand side, on this page, as a portrait of Japan's new 10,000 yen note from 2024. Anyway, in 2013, JPX was formed through the merger between Tokyo Stock Exchange and Osaka Securities Exchange. And in 2019, JPX acquired the Tokyo Commodity Exchange known as Tokom and added commodity and energy derivatives to the product lineup. Here is a story of the origin of the Japanese derivatives market. Many of you ha may have heard of a story of Doji Slice Exchange, which is often re uh, referred to as the forerunner of all futures market. In the mid 17th century, the era of samurai's administration, feudal laws collected rent in payment of rice produced on their land and transferred a bunch of rice to big commercial cities like Osaka to sell their rice to merchant merchants there. To raise cash, feudal lords began selling warehouse receipts that gave the holder rights to rice supplies in storage. As the rice ticket became common, they served as currency bought and sold by the merchant class and were traded at a specific place, Dojime in Osaka. Going one step forward, the merchant also started futures trading at Dojime underlying that warehouse receipt. They even prepared trading rules of futures trading and the market, and the market seemed almost the same as a modern futures exchange. In the early 18th century, the central government officially authorized the trading warehouse receipt and its futures trading in Dojima Rice Exchange. We should emphasize here that the final settlement method of futures trading in Dojima Exchange was cash settlement like stock index futures features such as Nikkei 225. You can imagine how the market had sophisticated trading functions. In 1869, however, a new government which succeeded the Samurai dynasty decided to close Dojima Rice Exchange because it considered futures trading nothing more than gambling. While well, we can hear a same story even today. Two years later, the government allowed to reopen the market, but the government obliged to impose a physical delivery on final settlement. That means a history of traditional futures trading with cash settlement since 17th century had terminated. In 1939, a succeeded commodity exchange from Dojima Rice Exchange was liquidated, so the history of Dojima Rice Exchange was ended. Dojima Rice Exchange was located on the other side of the river of the current OSA building, so if you come to OSA after this pandemic, please visit the place as well. Now, I'd like to briefly introduce a history of the Japanese derivatives market in the modern era. Before 1945, there were many commodity exchanges all over Japan, and various types of commodity futures such as rice, salt, raw silk, oil, and beans were actively traded. In addition, investors at that time were crazy for trading individual stock futures than cash equity trading. For several years after 1945, derivatives markets were not allowed to resume. But the situation finally changed in the 1950s, with strong demand from industries on hedging price of primary commodities, the limited number of commodity products was allowed by the authorities to establish a new exchange and to start futures trading. Since then, new derivatives products seldom had got a listing approval for 30 years. But in the 1980s, 
features of precious metals such as gold, silver, and platinum was allowed to trade. In the financial derivatives area, 10-year JGB futures started in 1985 as the first case in the, in the category, and then futures and options of Nikkei 225 and topics were launched. After that, additional commodity derivatives were listed in the 1990s, and crude oil and petroleum futures were also listed around 2000. During the latest 20 years, in line with the expansion of the market size, many types of derivatives products, including a mini-sized contract and electricity futures got listed on JPX, and we are ambitious to continue to expand this lineup. Here is a product lineup listed or to be listed on JPX. Financial Derivatives has the largest product lineup in JPX, and we have Nikkei 225 and Nikkei 225 mini futures, which are familiar with global investors, and other futures underlying many types of indices, such as topics, JPX Nikkei 400, Dow Jones Industrial Average, Fitz China, TSU Lead Index, and Japanese Government Bonds JGB. For options, Nikkei 225 options enjoy the largest trading volume on the market liquidity in this group. And we are also have options on topics, JPX Nikkei 400, 10-year JGB, and individual stocks and ETFs. Commodity derivatives is traded at OSE under JPX. And we have precious metal futures, including several types of gold contracts and platinum, and silver and palladium, rubber, and agricultural products. Personally, I love seeing rubber futures market. Unlike other commodity derivatives, rubber futures market are located only in Asia, Japan, China, Singapore, Thailand, and India. As Japanese rubber futures used to be the largest rubber futures market in terms of trading volume and liquidity until the mid-2000s, the market still have trading flows from many global and domestic investors. In this commodity lineup, CMAPI futures will newly join the market on se September 21st. For energy derivatives, we have crude oil and petroleum product futures, including Dubai crude oil, which is the most actively traded in this category, and electricity futures was listed in 2019. Energy derivatives is one of the fastest expanding areas in the derivatives world, and JPX aims to expand this asset class so that we are currently under preparation for the listing of LNG futures in the first half of next year. This slide shows annual trading volume trends of the JPX derivatives market for the past 20 years. In 2000, the trading volume was less than 100 million contracts, and since then, the trading volume has increased steadily, reaching 450 million contracts in 2020. Looking at the breakdown of trading volume in 2020, you will find that equity-related uh, equity derivatives, including Nikkei 225 and Topics, account for more than 90% of the total volume. Commodity and energy derivatives account for only around 4%. Given the size of the Japanese economy and the capital markets, we believe there is still a lot of room for the growth of these products. This slide shows top 10 contracts in terms of, of average daily trading volume in 2020. In the financial derivatives, Nikkei 225 Mini Futures is the largest, over 1 million contract, and Nikkei Mini is the eighth largest equity index futures in the world in 2020. Other financial derivatives contracts on the list are Nikkei 225 or topics related to futures and options. 10-year JGP Futures is also one of the major financial derivatives in JPX with great trading demand based on the massive size of Japanese government bonds market. In commodity and energy derivatives, gold standard futures and Dubai crude oil futures are top two in this category, and the futures of petroleum, platinum, gold, related products, and rubber are also often traded. Let's take a look at trading share by types of investors of four major products of JPX financial and commodity derivatives. First, please look at Nikkei 225 and the mini futures on the left-hand side. 
in August, the share of foreign investors for Nikkei 225 and the mini contract exceeded 70%, and Nikkei 225 mini's share of individual investors was 24%, which is higher than Nikkei 225 futures 10%. Second, if you look at the gold standard futures and the mini futures on the left uh, right hand side, same as Nikkei 225 and the mini cases, the share of foreign investors was high, over 60%. And you can also find that the share of individual investors in both futures, 22% in the gold standard and 32% in the gold mini, were higher than Nikkei 225 cases. This is just a simple comparison between four products, but we could say here that, first, as the JPX derivatives market is fully open to global investors, the trading share of foreign investors is high regardless of asset class. Second, for mini contract size products, the share of individual investors tended to become bigger compared to that of larger contract size products, of course. And the last but not the least is that in Japan, individual investors show a greater presence in the commodity derivative space than financial derivatives. So far, I introduce a history and the features of JPX derivatives market. Using the rest of the time, I would like to explain about our new product CMEPI futures. So, first, I will show you a short video of CMEPI futures. As shown in the video, CMEPI Futures is going to list on OSC on September 21st. CMEPI Futures is the index futures contract tracking CME Group Petroleum Index CMEPI Index, which reflects a weighted basket of three listed energy futures contract, namely WTI crude oil futures, Arab gasoline futures, and USD uh, heating oil futures traded on New York Mercantile Exchange NYMEX one of the core derivatives markets of CME Group. CME PI index is calculated by CME Group and the index is listed in points on a starting value of 100 set on August 3rd, 2020. This slide shows a concept of the price relationship between CME PI futures and WTI crude oil futures. From August 2020 to May 2021, the correlation coefficient between WTI futures and CMEPI index was 0 0.9995, showing a very high correlation. Reasons behind this are first, WTI futures is the biggest component of the CMEPI index, and its current index weight is 72%. Second, the rest of the components of the index, RBOB and USD, also have strong correlation with WTI as both petroleum products are produced by crude oil through a refinery process. Given the quite strong correlation between the index and WTI futures, the price of CMEPI futures is expected to move closely with that of WTI futures. This chart plots the WTI crude oil futures price and CMEPI index from August 3, 2020 to August 20, 2021. This will not guarantee any future price relationship between two, but when WTI price was USD uh, 70, the index value of CMEPI uh, index was around 170 points during this period. Next, let's take a look at the differences between CMEPI futures and the Tokom Dubai crude oil futures. Tokom du Dubai crude oil futures has a 20 year history and has grown into the most actively traded energy futures contract in Japan. The biggest difference between them is that CMEPI futures is based on crude oil and petroleum products produced in the US, while Tokom Dubai futures is based on crude oil produced in the Middle East, Dubai. Both are major oil producing countries in the world. 
but due to the geographical, uh, geopolitical, and the economic differences, each crude oil prices move uh, differently. This is one of the reasons why Tokom to buy crude oil futures have a lower correlation with WTI than CMEPI. Another difference is that for Tokom to buy crude oil futures, the most actively traded contract month is a six contract month, while it will be the first contract month for CMEPI futures due to the close relationship with NYMEX, uh, NYMEX WTI crude oil futures. The CMEPA futures enables Japanese investors to take direct exposure of WTI and other two futures in Japanese yen, and the investors can trade CME futures in the same account as other futures and options listed on the OAC. We believe that CMEPA futures paves the way for new investment opportunities for Japanese investors, in particular retail investors, who want to invest in energy derivatives and these trading flows also could give global investors arbitrage opportunities between CMEPI futures and other energy futures such as WTI and Tokom Dubai futures. Well, that's all for my presentation. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or opinions on anything about our markets or CMEPI futures. We have a LinkedIn and a WeChat account for sharing information about our derivatives markets, so your follow is much appreciated. Thank you very much for your attention, and I do hope to meet up with you uh, once this COVID-19 situation gets back to normal. Hope you will enjoy today's webinar. Thank you, and see you again.